Hey everyone, it's Golden Ball. Welcome back for some more Pokemon Emerald version. In the last part, we defeated Flannery and ventured into the mysterious Mirage Tower in the desert. Now, and we're... I actually uh, applied a repel, and we're gonna go. Let's see if I can do this. It might be actually kind of hard, but... Eh, dang it. This might be harder than I thought on a freaking emulator. Ugh. Rough dude, okay. Man, how am I gonna do this? This might be a little tough to do. Oh, I did it again. God dang it. Alright, how about I just cut to when I do it right? Yeah, I did it. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> that actually took uh, very many times. And yeah, I thought we had to do it again. Counterclockwise. That's this way. Right? Yeah. Yeah, we need a rock smash. Which is good because as we round those rock smash. And there we are. Break the rock. Now let's go. Let's see what we got here. The root fossil, that's the one I want. This fossil is taken the ground around it will most likely crum crumble away. The root fossil contains a uh, uh, Pokemon called something. It's the Cradley, I think, or Cradley's pre evolved form or something like that. I know the other one is Armaldo, and I always pick Armaldo, or whatever it is, but I'm picking the root fossil this time. Obtain the root fossil. Uh oh. We better get out of here. Instant teleportation, I like it. Okay. Now, what you can do... Uh-oh. Grab it, grab it! Oh, it's gone. The class fossil disappeared into the sand. Oh, well. Uh... <laughs> now, funny thing is that when I played this before, and I've read a lot of, like, fake walkthrough... Well, not fake, obviously fake, though. Walkthroughs on, like, how to do this when I was younger. They're like, oh, stand right where the other fossil dropped and you can get it and pick it up so I stood there and I'm like oh, I'm both fossils god dang it and obviously that didn't work so yeah um yeah so what you what what you can also do is explore that place for a little longer explore uh the desert and everything all its amazingness we'll come back to the desert one day and we're going to catch a legendary we will come back. But now, what we gotta do now is, uh, well, of course, go take on the fifth gym leader, and surprise, surprise, it's our father. So, <laughs> we gotta go back to Petalburg. Yeah, can you believe it? Backtracking, uh, there. Stupid, stupid woman. Going fast! Don't stop me, dude. I'm on a mock bike. You can't. You can't just stop in the middle of freaking cycling road. I hate how cycling roads like nothing, and it's not a, even like a big importance, uh, like it used to be back in uh, Red and Blue. Number of collisions twelve times. What? <laughs> yeah. Well, I could collision a lot more times, but I'm on a mock bike. If I had an acro bike, it would be like a lot better. I trust you. I just use the mock bike now, just cause. Everything requires the mock bike. There. And now we're down at Slateport. By the way, I think the name... Yeah, there's a name raider. So, I mean, in the next part, I might have nicknames for my Pokemon. I don't know. Maybe. We're not sure yet. Ugh. And I'm getting tired, though. I filmed a few parts today. I'm probably gonna... It's probably gonna be my last part. I'm gonna actually... See if I can go pick up some... Suda Pops. Oh, dude. Oh, wait, I already have, like, a crap load. Never mind. Whatever. Thank you. I remember you guys. Where are you? I remember you, too, Ricky. You're freaking surfing zigzag. What? Are you, kid? Oh, no. Oh, I'm not gonna waste my time showing this. Alright, that was actually really pointless. Hey, Briny, we haven't seen you in forever. Since part something... Duford... Oh, we gotta go. Oh, 
Why does Pico care? We're on the small boat again. Oh my god. I can't believe it. It's like, oh, the abandoned ship. I can't believe it. We're doing it again. We're going, we're on the boat with Briny again. Now, this is kind of pointless, because you could have just kept going. Uh, I want to set sail. We're bound for Pedalberg. Yep, for the fifth gym leader. And we really don't need to level up our Pokemon at all because, personally, this gym with how my team is set up is going to be ridiculously easy. Mainly because I will most likely have uh, Blaziken by then. Uh, why'd you take me in your house and chase your little bird around, you freak? Yeah. <laughs> this should be... Oh my god, are you kidding? Oh, I thought I was going to hit a wild encounter for a minute. Alright, Petalburg City, Wally's house. Now, when do they give you fly? Yes. 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 I don't know. Where? That's weird. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's see. Uh, no, I'll do that later. Uh, actually, I was gonna go wherever back to Rustboro was. I kind of forgot, but I'll uh, I'll do it later. Back when I get fly or something like that. Uh, blah blah blah. Yeah. So um, that's that. I'm actually gonna go heal up real fast, but I'll cut that out. Alright, now that's done. Uh, also, since we beat Flannery, now the Pokemon Pokemart here in Petalburg now sells uh, Great Balls. <sighs> now, what am I... Talk. Okay. There's someone I th think in here gives you fly. Whatever. We'll go take on our Papa. Yeah, let's go do that. No! Pokemon! God. Okay, now let's go take on our dad. Okay, this gym has a certain setup to it. Alright, and actually I'm going to explain... No, not explain. Show you guys a little bit of a diagram of the setup right now. Norman's gym is like a diamond. First there's a speed room in which agility is used, and the accuracy room in which never miss moves are used. Then there's the recovery room in which recovery moves and items are used, and the defense room in which defense increasing moves are used. There's also the confusion room in which Pokemon try to confuse you and have you kill yourself, and the one hit KO move in which the move slash is used to get critical hits. There's also the strength room in which sword stance is used a lot to boost strength. At the end, you get to Norman, the gym leader. Alright, hopefully you understand that, and just follow my path is what I'd say. Uh, we're not going to take the speed room, we're going to take the uh, uh, accuracy room, because we don't really care. Yes? Now, you gotta fight a trainer to keep going. It's the only downside of this. It's pretty nasty when every attack lands without fail. It also kind of sucks that you have normal type, and I have uh, combuskin. And only one. A uh, Delcaddy, the evolution of Skitty. Everybody loves Skitty for some reason. Not me, I think it sucks your average crappy normal type. What? No. Don't do it, Combuskin. Good Combuskin. I said good to a chicken. A big fighting chicken. El Diablo. If anybody got that reference, good to you. Good for you. Uh, 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 now we got the defense room on the left and the recovery room on the right. <laughs> I'm not going to deal with the recovery room because I hate when people use items. Go ahead and use the defense move. I don't care. Hey, you look exactly the same. So yeah, I'll pretty much, I'll probably just take on the defense room person, and that's probably it. Oh, wiggly tough. Don't you get, don't you infatuate my chicken. Oh my god, we're gonna level up. Oh, why do I say, well yes, we will level up, but we're going to evolve from this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. We're running a little time. Time, 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 time. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yes, Kumbuskin is evolving! I'm gonna be absolutely silent for this, as the greatest Pokemon of all time enters our team. Well, at least I think it's great. I'm not talking. I'm, I'm talking. Oh crap. Just watch, 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 watch. There he is, in all his glory! It's awesome Pokemon! Blaziken! We got him! We got our f starter's final evolution! Can you guys believe it? Blaze kick! Oh my god! Uh, we're gonna get rid of Scratch. Uh, so yeah, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and in the next part, we're gonna continue through this gym. See you guys later!